stupid and not right. <laughs> and we're recording again. So goddamn it, Charlie, it's all your fault. Hey, at least I fixed it again like I always do for you, because you always break that shit. <laughs> Who else is gonna fix your shit when you break it, Alex? No one. Not you, obviously. I'm a who always fixes your shit? Damn. But guess what? You didn't fix it this time. Because it wasn't really broke. Yes, it was. I didn't even break it. You broke it. Actually, it's, it's neither one fault. of us broke it. It's your neither fault. Neither one of us. It's your neither fault, Charlie. I blame you. I, 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 thought, I thought you was following the You broke the, the Altera yeah. ship. That's why we fell out of the sky. It wasn't any kind of orbital quarantine laser. No, it was just you. Your fault. That's probably true. I was probably fucking with the nuclear reactors, which is also why they exploded. No, no, no. You you just got on the command bridge and you were eating a disgustingly drippy sandwich all over the controls and we just spiraled out of control and the engines blew up upon entering into the atmosphere. That had like all of the other things to uh, like that like told um told you all a bunch of different career paths you would be good at. You mean the aptitude test that no one ever took seriously? Yeah. That one? Yeah. Yeah. Remember how mine said I would be great for a nuclear um, reactor technician? They said that I would be great for a lot of things, but guess what? None of them were any fun. None of them was something you was ever going to use, I know. Yeah, I know. That's the problem. I mean, I wouldn't want to work in a nuclear reactor simply because I would be the one to blow it up. I'd, I would have a bad day and physically choose to blow it up because I'm an asshole. Physically choose to blow it up? Now you're getting into weird territories, Charlie. I would physically walk up to the fucking fuel rods. Pull Charlie, all you'd the melt before down. you reach the fuel rods. I would walk up to where the um, control rods are and I would make them all get pulled up. No. And lock no, them. you can't even do that. I mean, it would be a suicide mission. No, I Don't mean, get me you wrong. physically can't even enter the room where the control rods are. There's a reason why they're now controlled entirely by computer. I, I, I'm aware of this. I didn't say I'd... Uh, I would have them lift it somehow. I would lift them and How just let it go. How would you lift them? They From weigh the at least room. 500 pounds and are made of either tungsten or lead. A lot of times it's tungsten now. Tungsten's um, too heavy for you to be lifting. Especially with I, I those just, string bean arms of yours who can't just lift my foot when it's on your chest. I just said from the control room. But Charlie, you gotta have authorization keys for shit like that. This ain't if, if a I'm, nuclear missile silo where you can actually do some damage. This is a friggin' reactor. Something that people are actually paying attention to. I mean... I, if You'd I worked in a fine. nuclear power plant... Yeah, working in a nuclear missile silo would be much easier. No, no, if I worked in a nuclear power plant, I would definitely have clearance to the control room. No, you wouldn't. If I was there for what you'd I'm fail really your good at, I would be there. You'd, you'd fa fail your psychic valve immediately. Uh, that might be true, yeah, but... Yeah, exactly. They wouldn't let you... Have, you'd be a janitor. That would be your job. No, <laughs> if, if, I was, if I was... in a nuclear power plant. You'd if be I the was janitor. there, if I was there for what I'm actually good at, I would literally be there for networking, Run which means walls. I would have access to every room, because I would have to, especially the control room, where networking is important. Can I get ammo, please? Well, I guess I'll take ammo off the dead bodies. That works. No ammo for. Ready the great, much better than Charlie, has decreed that no ammo will be given to him today. After all, this isn't Kong. You don't get him. Connery intake recommended. Yes, well, kissing my ass is recommended, computer helper. How the fuck did I miss that shot? Do you want the short answer or the long answer? Both. Okay, short answer is you absolutely suck at shooting. I, I shot at a standing still hunter 
with the sniper rifle for the weak spot, which in CE is an insta kill, which is any part that's not armored and missed by literally a pixel or two. Now, not only just no scope, both of them, with no problems. Just now, when I but I couldn't do it while while moving. Not while moving. I couldn't do it while standing still. I could do it while moving, but not standing still. What kind of sense does that shit make? Oh, it it doesn't. But then again, stabilizing. you know, you, you you're terrible. So terrible. I mean, how many people can actually complete this game solo, legendary? You know, there's a fluke for everything. I've done it multiple times. Sometimes the lightning C does, in is fact, the worst. strike the same plot. It plays twice, so... <sighs> yeah, but it's been more than twice. Yeah, well... You know, I, I'm like that poster from Megamind that says, No, you can't. But I have. No. The only reason I'm playing through it now is because, see, it's because, um... It's because Master Chief Collection did not oh, give me my achievements. You done? Sorry, I was murdering a bunch of Covenant. Single-handedly, because I've left all my teammates back. Wow, Charlie. They're too damn left, slow. Charlie, you left your teammates behind? That seems like something someone who's bad at the game would do. I mean... No man left behind. I mean, they're what well defended, space, well armed. What kind of space marine are you? Are you not a marine. Okay? Uh, what, what kind of soldier are you? Where you think it's okay to leave your comrades at arms, the people that you went into battle with the express intention of dying with, behind? Um, you make me the kind that jumps out of orbit and lands head first on the planet. That kind. So a loser. I mean, technically I fell off of one of them, but oh, when I did jump, I may have even been thrown out once. <laughs> it does not. It actually, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could say I've been thrown out because of Halo Reach. So you're not Master Chief in that game. You are technically a Spartan who has been thrown out of the ship. Okay, so I have a mobile vehicle bay that I can produce, so I guess I'm making a titanium ingot lubricant power cell. I don't want the terminal. But you're going to get it, aren't you? Well, I always think I have to push that button to open the door, but no, that's just a terminal. You don't gotta do nothing in this room. Ah, it's a grenade. It's a grenade. It's coming in. It's hey, that was my first death. Jab your balls. You that was my your first death tonight. Data indicates that swimming was your favorite activity. Be sure to vary your routine for uniform muscle development. Seek fluid intake. I need more copper ore. I have the acid mushrooms. I need copper. Must find copper. That's not the grenade I wanted to throw. Yeah, because the Sea Glide's battery is. Warning. Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached critical state. Alright, Space Marines, y'all stay back there and kill all the furries. You know exactly. Our Warhammers must be dramatically different. Charlie, Warhammer 40,000? The Warhammer I'm thinking of is a, is a, is a plane, is, is a game where you play as planes and dogfights in mid-air and bomb tanks and other facilities and there's also tanks on the ground that are sitting there shooting back up planes that are also players. I think you may be thinking uh, World of Tanks. 
No, not World of Tanks. That's a completely different game. War Thunder is what you're thinking of. You're right, I'm thinking of War Thunder. It's not even in my Steam library right now. Yeah, I am thinking of War Thunder, you're right. Yeah, but uh, Warhammer is technically set in a fictional world where um, basically the human race shat itself into near oblivion. All the water evaporated from Earth, and some really big muscly dude who calls himself the Emperor of Mankind showed up and supposedly just sort of took over everything because we basically were losing bad to the aliens and losing bad to the demons and losing bad to everyone and he basically rescued the human race from absolute oblivion and he had a whole bunch of sons made using genetic engineering on a secret lab on the moon and then one of his sons kind of turned on him and smote him with a very powerful force and he was stuck on to quote if the Emperor had a text-to-speech device uh, life-sustaining God couch for like 500 years so yeah Seek fluid intake immediately. so why were they fighting all the furries uh, well technically speaking there are Why did they hunt down Sonic and Tails and murder them? I will explain that if you let me. Uh, I showed that to Matthew today. Yeah, by the way. I'm sure he, he got a laugh out of it. He got a little bit um, of a laugh actually, before he got you know what? Let's, yeah. um, let's end the recording here for the moment, and we will continue this discussion next episode. So, goodbye. Hopefully this doesn't totally fuck up.